More women get diagnosed with Alzheimer's than men. For years, scientists assumed that was because women tend to live longer. Now, that understanding is changing. Researchers now think while age does play a role, so too do other risk factors. We are really starting to discover that men and women are different in regard to the risk of dementia. For example, the timing of key hormonal changes like menopause. If the menopause is below age 40, we call it premature. And if it is between age 40 and 44, we call it early. And those are now being shown to be clear respect of for cognitive decline and dementia. But there's also so much scientists still don't know. We're playing catch up at this time. Your task is to say whether you remember seeing the face. This researcher searching for early signs of the disease through brain scans and blood samples. We're trying to understand whether or not menopause is a window at which some females might be showing early signs of Alzheimer's disease and whether we could capture them early so they could enter treatment and decide to alter their lifestyles to better age. She just kept on going. She never rested. She never really took much downtime. Working three jobs, Sonia Cox refused to slow down most her life. But when Alzheimer's symptoms showed up, she deteriorated fast, says her daughter. She forgot my dad first. She actually had a full hysterectomy. Looking back, Angelita now knows her mom was at greater risk for Alzheimer's because her ovaries were removed. That induces menopause and increased her risk of cognitive decline. It's led Angelita to change her choices. I take better care of myself. I'm more aware of the hormonal challenges that I have. So when it became time for me to deal with my fibroids that I had, I chose not to have a full hysterectomy. I know you're going to make your punch. Angelita works two jobs still, but she's trying to slow down and pass those habits down to her daughter. 